And let's have some fun, baby. Yeah! Initiating the backswing. It is one of the most important parts of the golf swing. If you don't initiate the backswing correctly, then your brain thinks that the wrong uh, body part is the primary driver. Here's what I mean by that. Is when you initiate the backswing with your arms, it tells your brain that your arms and your hands are the primary driver of the movement that you're trying to execute. I know that this is contraindicated or counterintuitive to a lot of golf pros that say if you don't initiate with your arms and you don't maintain tension in your core and this, that, and the other, well, I'm saying screw that. Because what I'm talking about is straight up biomechanics. I'm not talking from a technical standpoint. From a biomechanic standpoint, you want your brain thinking that your body is the primary mover. If you're on TV playing on Sundays, then sure, you can initiate with your hands. If you're getting a paycheck to play golf, initiate with your hands. However, if you're like the 99.9% .9 of us out there, you ain't getting paid to play golf. So don't be initiating with your hands. Use your alignment stick, get into your address position, and I want you to think about moving the alignment stick as much as you move your hands in the first quarter of the backswing. Just do this over and over again. Don't think about engaging core or pushing the foot through the ground. Don't think about any of it yet because you just want to get your brain used to moving your belt buckle and your hands at the same time. Just like this, over and over again. Make sure your head stays still, hands back and forth over and over again. Just the first quarter. Don't even go to parallel. Don't do anything else, right? Once you can feel this occurring, then let's add some muscles to it. Address position, start increasing pressure through the inside of this right foot, keeping a good bend in this right knee, core is engaged by pulling my belly button into my spine like I'm getting ready to resist a punch to my stomach. Chest is up, I don't have the old man round, chest is up, quarter of the way, hold, the stick moved, right, the alignment stick moved, my hands moved, the club face is still pointing down. It's not doing any of this stuff, so I'm not getting cute with my wrists. And I'm gonna start increasing pressure to the inside of this right foot. The right knee stayed bent. It didn't straighten as I went into this position. So nice bend in the right knee, pushing through the inside of my right foot, trying to push my foot through the ground. I'm relaxing my left knee so it can just collapse in versus keeping it wide, right? That's really hard to do versus that's easier for me to turn. So here we go again. Address, chest is up, core is engaged, belly button's pulled in, push through the inside of that right foot. First quarter of the backswing is here. The stick, alignment stick moved, my hands moved, core is still engaged, and I'm gonna think about pushing harder through the ground with my right foot. And then I'm gonna try to go a little bit farther and a little bit farther and now I can't physically turn any farther with my belt buckle. The stick can't go any farther without me doing some type of compensation. So that is my maxed out position from there. And then I can just push my hands farther, my left hand farther back away from the target, which gives me more shoulder turn. That's how you should be practicing initiating the backswing. Train your brain belt buckle and hands move at the same time just do it over and over and over again and then start to get more disciplined which muscles are you using to create that motion make sure you like and subscribe comment if this video helps you this helps out a ton of my golfers give it a thumbs up and make sure you check in next time because we're gonna be doing a lot of fun stuff next time yeah